The Netflix show Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, really is the rage. As usual, Shonda Rhimes has done a fabulous job. And for us romantic fiction writers, we really have to look at this very closely. So that's what I did. And I couldn't help comparing the characteristics of Queen Charlotte and my main character, my protagonist, one of my protagonists, I should say, Vina, the other one being Ila, her daughter. And I found that there were quite a lot of similarities between the two. So for my Mother's Day greeting, I wanted to share with you what some of these were. Reason number one as to why they are so similar, they are both very feisty, very fiery women. Um, if you've read Operation Mom, you will know that Vina is absolutely a no-nonsense type, and we can see that of Queen Charlotte as well. Reason number two, they both love to dance, and they're fantastic dancers, different kinds of dancing, but dancing nevertheless. Reason number three, they are both very interested in controlling their kids. Need anything else be said? Apparently that happened in real life as well for Queen Charlotte. Reason number four, they both love to gossip. Yes, they claim to be, and they are, perhaps very intelligent, cerebral, um, interested in things like physics and astronomy and what happens in the world, but they love their fair share of gossip. And reason number five, they both tried to climb over a wall to escape their marriage. Literally, figuratively, we know that Vina is estranged from JJ in Operation Mom, and Queen Charlotte, we actually see the young Queen Charlotte try to climb over a wall to escape her impending marriage. Of course, things change. Now, some people have asked me what any of this has to do, if it has to do at all, with my own mother, this being Mother's Day and all. My own mother's name is also Vina, but she is not, and I will reinforce, not the Vina in Operation Mom. But uh, there was definitely an element of trying to climb over a wall. I won't go into the details. I don't know about her dancing skills, I don't think they're as great as uh, either of the other two. She definitely doesn't indulge in snuff. Maybe she should. And um, is she controlling? Does she try to control her children's lives? Mm -hmm. Does she gossip? Oh boy. I would say yes. And is she a feisty woman? <laughs> Let me just say, once you meet Vina, you will never forget Vina. Speaking of Venas, going back to the Vena and Operation Mom, I'm actually thinking that my next book has to be a prequel featuring the young life of Vena, kind of like the young life of Queen Charlotte. That was a prequel in the Bridgerton Part 2 story, so Part 2 of Operation Mom perhaps needs to be Vena's young life when she stalked George Michael. What do you think? Let me know. I'd love to know your thoughts. In the meantime, I hope you have a Fabulous Mother's Day. If you haven't read Operation Mom, I hope you get to read it. There is a link to the Amazon site below and to Barnes and & Nobles. And um, if you've read Operation Mom, well, I have a bonus chapter for you. So click right on the button to go there. Thank you all. Happy Mother's Day.